All right, Invisible Man. Here's why self-improvement is one of the worst ways to get more women in 2024. Now, yeah, you should definitely be doing it for yourself still, but not really doing it um, <clears throat> expecting to get women, at least in the short term. One, because it just dude, it takes so long, takes so much effort to for a man to improve his SMV. Like, it's really only a long-term play. Maybe, no, multiple years out. Um, and then the second thing is, there's a better strat where um, an invisible man should actually use this new strat to get all the women in his city to know he exists right now at his current SMV and run that in parallel with him you know, increasing his SMV. And he'll actually get more results from that than literally doing self-improvement. And that strat allows an invisible man to become a visible god in his um, current city sexual marketplace. But we'll get into that later. So in this video, the invisible man will learn exactly why self-improvement is one of the worst ways to get more women in 2024. And this video is for the invisible man who is stuck in the invisible man trap, AKA the invisible man who has been doing self-improvement for at least six months and is still invisible to women. That is the that is duh, invisible man trap. All right, we're not doing getting more jacked. We're actually doing um, self improvement. Meant is one of the worst ways to get more women in 2024. All right, and basically the biggest reason is if a man is spending all his time self-improvement, or if the invisible man is doing that, he's not spending any time getting new women to know he exists. And that is literally 100%. Any man that has a problem in the sexual marketplace, literally 100% 100 of the time, the biggest reason is not all the women in his city know he exists. That's why you know he's an invisible man because not all, not all the women in the city know he exists. And think, if every woman in the city knew this invisible man existed, would he get uh, more women or less women? Obviously, more women. So, so the main problem is he is an invisible man, and he needs to be working to become a visible god with you know this new twenty twenty four strategy. Um. Because it doesn't matter how great his product is, aka how much he self-improves, if no woman knows he exists. Yes, he can be super mega chad, but like, dude, if you're in the desert where there's no women, you ain't getting no women. Because no women know you exist. Because um, if women knows he exists, if no woman knows he exists, no women can buy his sperm in the you know, current sexual marketplace. Men offer their sperm, women choose the sperm to receive, aka buy. Aka no women can choose him to be banged by. Can choose him to bang her. How about that? And yeah, this is like how you know 99.5% of the modern sexual marketplace works. The other 0.5% would be rape. That's where the man chooses. So Think of this video right now. This video is getting this video is getting the invisible man to know my product slash it's actually to know I exist. And by extension my product slash service exists. So what I'm telling the invisible man to do in the sexual marketplace, I'm doing right now in the goods and services marketplace. And that's because that is the only way the invisible man will buy my product slash service is if he knows it exists. Same in the sexual marketplace with women. A woman can't buy your sperm if she does not know your type of sperm exists. So we actually gotta, for the invisible man, gotta get 
more and more and more all the women in your city know you exist and either you're gonna have you know you're gonna have zero to x number of women but you know you're a visible god at that point and you know your results the that at that point the results of women depends on the man's the visible god's smv so let's see how many more women the invisible man How many more women know the invisible man exists from him doing self-improvement in one week compared to how many more women know the visible God exists over that same one week? All right, so let's compare the two. See whose strat's better, who's more efficient, um, all that stuff. Uh, first, a 2024 sexual marketplace observation is the invisible man needs a minimum of approximately 100,000 unique women to see him aka to know he exists so that he can get a reference point as to where his SMV is at in the 2024 sexual marketplace. And this is so he can see how many of those approximately 100,000 women reach out to him first. So yeah, the sexual marketplace stuff, it only works, I mean, it really only works if the woman reaches out to the man first. If it's the other way around, it's too difficult, like she wasn't interested to reach out first. And yes, it is approximately 100,000 minimum in the 2024 sexual marketplace today. Where did I get this 100,000 uh, reference point from? I got it from Lima, Peru. Um, you can see the other videos on my channel uh, with the IG date printing funnel 2.0. I had to reach um, 76,000 unique women in Lima to find two that were high interest, aka would meet up and bang first date. And yeah, met up and banged both of them multiple times. So um, definitely good, better than you know one and done from um, dating apps most of the time. So the visible God, uh, you know, was known by a minimum 78,000 women in Lima from IG ads. Um, so my estimate is, so yeah, it's about 38,000 women for one high interest woman. And I'm gonna estimate that US and Canada is at least three X as hard so approximately 100,000 minimum per one high interest woman. And I did all that stuff in Lima when I was 28. So, you know, my lowest SMV, my lowest my SMV will ever be. And, you know, this number keeps going down. It will keep going down every single year as I increase my own SMV. So basically the visible God has the strat to get every, every woman in the city to know he exists. And then, so now the only function is oh, just simply pull the SMV lever. Um, all the visible God has to do is simply put in more effort to his SMV. And like, he already knows the distribution mechanism to distribute his SMV, his current SMV, to all the women in the current city. Because, um, well, he's been doing it since age 28. And he can just keep using those skills over and over as his SMV increases. So that's where that reference point came from. So now let's compare. So the Invisible Man, you know, self-improvement all-star. You know, he's doing a lot, dude, he's doing a lot of stuff. You know, self-improvement dude's pride doing like the the second best, um, the second best option compared to what the Visible God is doing. But the results, you'll see the results are not even close. So Invisible Man, you know, self-improvement um, slim over here. You know, cold approach 10 women this week to so 10 new women came to know he exists from a cold approach, social circle game, uh, two new women came, at, came to know he exists in a social circle, dating apps, he's on all of them, but he doesn't know how many new women um, found out he exists. And if you look at the data, there's approximately like, you know, there's basically zero women on dating apps in the US, at least 18 to 34 year old women. So you know, can't count those. And that's the reason, one of the, I believe one of the reasons that um, they don't show us how many women see our profiles because we would really realize it's like approximately zero and get off the apps ASAP. Um, no women from matchmakers, the invisible man's not doing that. He is trying to DM random women on IG slash TikTok, you know, doing it on, you know, to work on public transit or in his downtime, you know, he's trying to do as much time maximization as possible. And just his normal self-improvement stuff, going to the gym, uh, maybe buy new clothes, 
I'm going to the you know GNC to get some protein. Five new women saw he existed, and this is because you know 99% of men are invisible to women. So obviously there were more women that um, he was around, but you know only five women actually actually saw him, and their brain just did not like put him in the invisible box. So the max number of new women for this one week, 47 new women came to didn't know he existed. He spent 12 hours. Now, the problem is, you know, our reference point here, our estimate, is going to take him 100,000 new women to find one high interest woman. So that means this dude's going to be burning, uh, self-improvement slim over here is going to be burning 25,000 hours to get um, 100,000 new women to know he exists. And, you know, a full year work week is you know, 40 hours a week times 50 weeks in a year. That is 2,000 hours. So it's going to take him 12 and a half years if he did it full time as his job to hit that 100,000 new women mark. Um, so, all right, so that's what the Invisible Man is doing. And now you can tell why he is the Invisible Man because he did, uh, you know, one week he did 12 hours out of 25,000 hours. And let's see. I'm actually going to check. All right, let's see. So he did 12 hours a week, 25,000 hours. Let's see how many weeks he would need. 25,000 hours. 25, 12 hours a week. You need, dude, he would need 2,000 weeks. What's that, 40 years? Dude, that's terrible. That is literally terrible. Now you can see why he's, uh... Now you can see why... He's the uh, invisible man. Because it's going to take him 40 years to get the results he needs. On the other side, visible God, in one week, what did he get done? Well, he actually spent no time cold approaching because he knows it's inefficient. Spent no time social circle game because he knows it's inefficient. No time in data and apps because he knows you can't track the data and you can't optimize for anything anyways. So it's a waste of money and inefficient. And there's you know, approximately zero women on dating apps in the U.S. anyways. Uh, that data you'll see later on in this video. Zero time of matchmakers because he knows it's inefficient. Zero time DMing random women on IG and TikTok because he knows it's inefficient. But he did the, um, you know, this new visible god strat, you know, the best strat for him to get the maximum number of women in his current city to know he exists with YouTube vlog ads. And in one week he got about approximately 3,790 new women to know he exists and with zero time spent. So this all happened while the visible God just went around, you know, went along his normal life, slept his normal sleep schedule, um, built his business normally, went to the grocery store normally, went to the gym normally. All this happened in parallel. So really he's able to, um, you know, buy his time back, uh, especially compared to the invisible man. So zero hours with an asterisk, get to that. Uh, the cost for this was about 74 bucks um, because it took zero marginal hours uh, to reach these like 4,000 women. It also takes zero marginal hours to um, reach 100,000 women. Just have to, you know, do have to wait a few days or, you know, probably not a few days, you know, a few months. Kind of with some like average spend. You could reach all the women in your city in 30 days if you want to spend. I don't know, probably a hundred bucks a day. Probably more. I haven't actually done the math, but um, so the cost for a hundred thousand new women is about two thousand dollars. So basically, to get all the women in this, or at least a hundred thousand women in this current city, no need exists. It'll cost about two thousand dollars. But most important, it's no time. Like this dude spent uh, twelve hours. And like he could have been taking that time to build a business um, and like learn other skills or relax or whatever. Um, and time is the only resource we can never get back. So the invisible man's using his most precious resource that is non replenishable. You know, it's a resource that's non replenishable. Whereas the visible God here is using the resource that is infinitely replenishable. So it totally makes sense. 
Uh, and if you do the math, so 100,000 divided by 2,000, or uh, no, 2,000 divided by 100,000. So what do we got to do? We got to move it over um, 100,000. That's five zeros. So move it over one, two, three, four, five. So 1.9 cents, like 1.95 cents. So two cents, dude, it costs two cents per woman to get in front of you know each woman. It costs two cents. How insane is that? So this dude took, uh, uh, what is this? Um, 48 over 12, four women per hour. So that's um, 0 0.25 hours per woman. So 15 minutes, so this dude took 15 minutes per woman. This dude decided to pay two cents per woman, which means, what's that, eight, eight cents per hour? So if, if the invisible man's time, if he feels his time is worth more than eight cents an hour, he should be doing this invisible God method, or this method that the visible God is using with YouTube vlog ads. That's where the, uh, you know, the break-even point is. Um, now this asterisk, it did take the visible God a full eight-hour day setup to set this up, but then it simply runs forever as long as he wants to put money into uh, the system. And you can see the break-even point is eight cents per hour. Um, time, you know, spending time to interact with the women versus money to inter interact with the women. Obviously, uh, every man is earning, mostly every man's earning more than eight cents an hour. So, this strategy, like, dude, it's, uh, so the visible God realized he's heard of fast, efficient, high quality, choose two. But this this uh, strategy that he's using is actually fast, efficient, high quality. You get them all. You get all three. So this solves that um, two for three trilemma that uh, everyone knows about. So this actually solves it because this is still super cheap. So this is fast. You can scale up as much as you want. You know, get as many women in your city to know you exist as you want. Cheap. Uh, right here, two cents per woman. I mean, what's cheaper than that? Definitely cheaper than 15 minutes per cold approach just for that same woman to know you exist. Um, and it's effective because it runs in parallel with your life uh, in the invisible man's life. So he's starting to look at this and be like, oh, heck yeah, that looks good. All right, invisible man. So where did this new strat come from that I'm using? So basically, I first went to see where US women, you know, 18 to 34 year old females, attention is. And to my surprise, um, the biggest dating app in the US is Tinder. And so we can just say Tinder is like approximately like all the dating apps in the US. So there's only like 1 million 18 to 34 year old women on Tinder, or basically on any dating app in the US. I was like, dude, that's. That's like none, because if if you take that one million and you divide it up into the biggest city in each state, and like just a one million divided by fifty, that's only twenty thousand women on Tinder in that city, and like no women on Tinder for the rest of the state. So, dude, there's no dude, there's literally no women on them. So this is, you know, probably one of the biggest reasons why men aren't getting many results, or at least you know the invisible man is not getting many results on dating apps because there's dude, there's literally no women on dating apps. And so then I compared it to the social media sites. I said, all right, TikTok's got 55 million, 18 to 34. Here we go. US women, 18 to 34, pop. YouTube, 43 million. Facebook, 65 million. Instagram, 53 million. TikTok, 55 million. And then like, you know, compared to Tinder, 55x, 53x, 65x, 43x. So like you got 40, you can access 40 to 60x more women on these platforms if you can get in front of them compared to Tinder. And Tinder, the other thing, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, they'll literally tell you how many women you got in front of when you pay to boost your content. Um, just something simple like vlogs, like it doesn't have to be anything fancy. In Tinder, you pay, you don't know how many women are seeing you, how, you don't know how many women saw you doing your boost, 
it's like all a black box and you don't even know like if it's efficient for what you're paying for. So I saw this and I said, all right, so way more women here. Then the next question becomes, does it make sense to reach women on these platforms if you want more options in your current sexual marketplace? So obviously for me, that answer was yes. And recall the sexual marketplace video I did previously, it's on the channel, but we'll go through it fast here. So basically, this is the goods and service market, which is like you know, what I'm operating in right now with this video, it's called the buyer's pyramid. Uh, this is something like people have talked about a lot, maybe it came from some books. Is it accurate? Yeah, probably pretty close, but I haven't you know, researched it too much. Basically, 3% of people of the population is ready to buy now. 17% information gathering mode. 20% know they got a problem, but ain't doing nothing to fix it. 60% ain't even know they got a problem. They just think it's like normal life. So that is probably pretty accurate to you know the goods and service market, um, you know, buying and selling of goods. Now, where we're operating in, you know, with the stuff we're learning here, is a sexual marketplace buyer's pyramid. So in the sexual marketplace, women are the buyers because men offer their sperm and women choose whose sperm to receive like 99.5% of the time. Obviously that's switched if a man rapes a woman. That'd be like the only time it's switched. Or maybe if there's like an arranged marriage. Um, but like, you know, that's, you know, 1% or less of the time for those two things. So. We know that men offer their sperm and women choose, so women are the buyers. So what is our buyer's pyramid in the sexual marketplace? Well, in relationships, there's a honeymoon phase and a non-honeymoon phase. So in honeymoon phase, is like everything's perfect, she's behaving perfect. Women basically will not entertain other men if they're in honeymoon phase with their current man. But the honeymoon phase only lasts in like basically, or on average, three to four years. And if you actually go look at um, graphs of divorce rate by length of marriage, it go you know it starts out it peaks at like three to four years and then it slowly goes down. So it's like you last longer, your probability of divorce is lower. But that's because the honeymoon phase is worn off, and you know it's time for y'all for everyone to go their separate ways. So this honeymoon phase, three to four years, so basically three and a half years average. And I put it at 3% here, whereas like 3% of all women are in the honeymoon phase because, you know, at any given time, because, you know, 3.5 years out of a 100 year lifespan of women, you know, so we can say, you know, that's 3%, kind of like good estimate, generic estimate to start out at. Now what that means is we got 97% of women that are in the non-honeymoon phase these women here are open to the bigger, better deal. These honeymoon phase women mm, most likely are not. I mean, they still could be, but it's it's just better to focus on these non-honeymoon phase women, 97%, way less effort, and they are actively looking for the bigger, better deal. Um, you know, looking to trade up or leave their current relationship or, you know, because women are never single, so. Um, but this is good, dude. This like means like basically all basically all women are in the non honeymoon phase, aka are open to the bigger better deal, basically all the time, or at least ninety seven percent and ninety seven percent of the women are open to the bigger better deal at you know any time period, you know any day, which is good. That means there's a ton of buyers out there. So, some notes on this: ninety seven percent of women are currently buyers in your current sexual marketplace. And when you send, spend money on ads for yourself in your current sexual marketplace, 97% of that ad spend is going to women who are ready to buy today for a man she wants. And this is far different from advertising as a biz, traditional goods and service market, where only like 3% are ready to buy today. So the main point, here's the main point for, from this pyramid. All female attention towards men anywhere on any app in any location for any reason is always homogenous as sexual marketplace attention aka women are always looking for a bigger better deal this includes you know at church uh, at the grocery store walking home from the coffee shop driving home from work um, on Instagram on TikTok on Snapchat 
women are always, well, 97% of the women at any time period are looking for the bigger, better deal, regardless of where they are, what they're, what they're currently doing. It's always sexual marketplace attention because that's how women are wired. They need to get, you know, find just their hypergamy needs to find the best option for survival, even though they can get jobs now uh, and, you know, get some free money. But a dude, um, what was his name? Um, Red Pill Men's Health, I forgot his name, but he's like, you can take the woman out of the cave, but you can't take the cave out of the woman. Uh, Gregory A. Luna, that was his name. Red Pill Men's Health. And so, like, women still have the cave in their brain, always trying to optimize for the bigger, better deal. So at least 97% of women, we can confidently say, are open to that right now. So it's different goods and service market where some attention may be researching goods on Google, google.com, and other attention is buying the goods on amazon.com. So the intent of the attention is different for different apps or platforms in the goods and services market. But this is, it is not like this, but not so for women's attention on men. It is always sexual marketplace attention as 97% of women are currently looking for the bigger, better deal. Regardless of app slash website location. And we got a uh, think exercise here. If Drake or Leonardo Di DiCaprio was advertising application forms to fill out for a date with them on amazon.com, would women fill those application forms out? Well, let's see. Yes, because all female attention towards men anywhere on any app, in any location, for any reason, is always homogenous as sexual marketplace attention, AKA women are always looking for the bigger, better deal. And it's not like women are going, oh, I came to amazon.com to buy something. So I'm not going to try to get on a date with Drake slash Leonardo DiCaprio because that was not my intent when I typed in amazon.com today. If it refers to men, if it's relative to men, their attention automatically switches to sexual marketplace attention automatically, um, just instantly. Same as prime men's attention is always like, is she hot to seeing women, you know, in any capacity? Um, Brian just, you know, automatically, is she hot, yes or no? So yes, it does make, so the conclusion from this, you know, 97% of, uh, of women at any time period are in the non-honeymoon phase, AKA, looking for the bigger, better deal. That means it does make sense to reach women on these platforms. Because if they see me, their attention goes sexual in nature automatically uh, because I'm a man and they're a woman. So it does make sense to reach women on these platforms if you want more options in your current sexual marketplace. Okay, now how to reach these women. So how do we reach your women on these social platforms since there's so many of them to reach? How do we do it? So what I did is I went out to create content to reach women on my chosen platform, YouTube. And that's because I plan to do vlogs and women go to YouTube with a intent to watch long form content. So intent to watch something long. They don't go Facebook, Instagram, TikTok to watch something long. But if it is a dude they're attracted to, yeah, you know, they will watch something long here on these platforms. Some the man catches their eye. But I want to test here where all the women are on YouTube for basically long form, uh, with the intent to watch long form content from the jump. So, the idea is content is stored energy. Learned that from a dude called Jacob Cadiz. Uh He does business stuff, he's from Australia. So he had that good idea. Basically you record it once, and then you can reach as many people as I want forever, essentially replicating myself over and over. So what I did, so I went to, th to three popular locations in my current city, and I recorded, recorded one vlog at each location. So we have vlog one, vlog two, vlog three. Then I also created 12 super mini vlogs where I'm testing the clips in different orders to, feed, to see if it changes engagement at all, aka captures more attention, you, you know, yes or no. Then I ran all the above as ads on YouTube to women. So I took all these 
and just put them in the Google Ads container. And I ran them um, as ads on YouTube to women 18 to 34 F, 18 to 34 female, aged 18 to 34, in slash around my city. And I ran that traffic to a landing page with an embedded type form for women to propose a date with me. And so uh, yeah, traffic here, landing page here. I did put my vlog in and you know the type form right there. An interesting point. When I went from not doing this on like day X to then firing it up my first day doing this on day Y. Let's see how many more women that came to know I existed. Okay, how many more options I got in the sexual marketplace by using the above strat compared to the day before when I was not using it. So it'll do like, you know, day X is the day before, day Y is um, the, you know, the, the following day. So approximately me two days ago, it's like day X. Um, maybe, you know, I didn't even go out to meet women. But maybe one new woman saw I existed, you know, at the grocery store or whatever. But technically I didn't cold approach anyone, any woman. So we can say I didn't spend any hours. So I spent zero minutes per girl. And, you know, let's say I did that two days ago. And all right, so my results only one new woman found out about me. As compared to the following day, day Y, which I guess we can call yesterday. I didn't do anything with women, but I have my YouTube vlog ads running and approximately 1,864 new women found out I existed in my you know, local city area. Um, I did spend zero hours, like those ads just ran in parallel with an asterisk here, we'll get to that in a little bit. Those ads just ran in parallel while I was doing other stuff with my life. So I spent zero hours on it. And time to per new woman, zero minutes per girl. The cost was $22.99. So cost per new woman, new woman to see me, aka for me to have a new option in the sexual marketplace in my you know current local sexual marketplace was approximately 1.2 cents per girl. So that's, dude, that's definitely a lot more efficient than Cold Approach, definitely a lot more efficient than Social Circle Game, a lot more efficient than dating apps, a lot more efficient than matchmakers, and a lot more efficient than DMing random women on IG slash TikTok. Because all these are taking time, either time, time only, or time and money. And dating apps, they don't even tell you how many women, you know, have seen you, because they probably will be like eight. And you're like, oh damn, all right, that's why I ain't been getting any matches, so I'm out, I'm stopped paying for Tinder, Tinder Platinum, I'm not gonna pay for the boost. So that's why I believe they don't show you how many uh, women have seen your profile. Now the asterisk here, it did take a full eight hour day to set up, uh, go out, record, get my content, set up the ad, set up the ads manager, set everything up. Um, but then it runs basically forever. And for me to get all my content in one day, it only cost me two bucks. I went to all free places, you know, parks, you know, the local attractions that are free. And it's just a $2 all day bus pass for my city. There's later I could take as many, you know, so I took the bus in, took the bus out. If I needed to, I could have taken as many trips, you know, if the uh, attractions were kind of far apart. I could have taken that. I didn't eat anything. I did not eat anything out. I brought a water bottle, filled it up like once or twice. So, dude, it was literally $2 to get all, all the content I needed. So I got an instant, approximately 1,864x in options in a sexual marketplace for me running the above strat. So you could see day X, I said like one new woman option. Day Y, I had approximately 1,864 new women options. I'm doing this new strat and it did, it saved me time. That's all I, really all I care about is save me the time. And also it's do way cheaper. Cold approach is minimum 10 minutes. You know, if you actually count getting ready, driving there, parking, seeing who to cold approach first, then decompressing, you know, from that cold approach. And then not wanting to be too frequent with the cold approach because you don't want to be harassing and get kicked out. And then decompress, then going home, then showering, getting undressed, getting ready for bed. Do 10 minutes minimum. I mean, I, I, I've cold approached, I, I cold approached at universities approximately 250 times to get 100 numbers. Just, you know, get over my fear of it, make sure I know how to do it. It was, yeah, dude, probably like 15 minutes per each one. So you can either cold approach women, and let's say it's, you can do a fast 10 minutes, or you can pay 1.2 cents to get the same outcome. And, you know, this way is better because 
you're coming away as less needy. You're allowing her, if she's interested, to propose a date with you, which is actually how women prefer it to be. They really don't want to be approached by anyone who's less than 9.995 out of 10. So this actually is good for the invisible man, so he saves his time, and it's good for the women because they get to choose who they engage with, and, you know, everyone's happy. And it's it's super cheap. So due to an instant mega increase to my options. The big idea here is if every woman in your city plus 50 mile radius knew you existed, would you have a higher... Ch so would you get more women or less women? That's really the idea here. Obviously, a higher chance of getting more women. So that's really all we're trying to do. Um, if more women know you exist, then more women can you know, feel the coochie tingles for you. And yes, this can happen through digital. You know, um, you know, women feel the coochie tingles for Justin Bieber. They ain't never met him in person. They feel it through the digital, you know, on their screen, or you know, or for Drake. They're not, most of them have haven't not seen him in person. So yes, they can get the coochie tingles from the digital, you know, just recording of you. And if they do feel it, they'll reach out. And if they don't, they won't. Everyone saves their time. Um, and it's perfect. Really good solution. So we do have one reference point here. Um, when I did this with photo ads and 15 second uh, vertical video ads in Lima, Peru, I had to reach, you know, paid ads through paying this. I had to reach 38,000 unique women to get one high interest woman that was interested in meeting up and banging on the first date. And, um, and then my estimate, yeah, let's see my estimate. My estimate is US slash Canada is at least 3X as hard. So, you know, let's say 100K women, 100K new women per one HIW. It's maybe true, I don't have, you know, the exact, but um, this is my best estimate. Um, so I like this to shoot for, 100 new women per one high interest room, 100K new women. And I did this when I was 28, now I'm 29. So, I mean, if you're basically any man under, you know, below 30 is a child to women. So if you're above 30, these numbers will be less just because, you know, naturally men's SMV increases no matter what as we get older. So this is like the worst it'll ever be for me in my life. And so for me, it's like 100K. You maybe it's 50K, you know, if you're like 34 or something, or you have like more social status, more wealth, you know, higher SMV, all that stuff. So that is one reference point. Because uh, I definitely do want to uh, at least under promise and over deliver a little bit, so you don't, uh, so you're not disappointed in your results, or so you don't have like the wrong reference point for what to expect. So, if you want to go from invisible man to visible man with 100,000 new women in your current sexual marketplace in approximately 90 days, here's what we're working on right now. So we're currently helping mid-30s Raj of NYC to learn and implement our YouTube day printing funnel. It's literally this that I, you know, this that I drew out, showed you up above. Um, so that he can go from invisible man to visible man with 100,000 new women in his current sexual marketplace in approximately 90 days without having to do cold approach, social circle game, dating apps, matchmakers or DMing random women on IG slash TikTok. And I'll have the knowledge to run it all for the rest of his life. Basically, you know, whatever city he's in. And this strategy that I'm showing you is approximately like Tinder 2012 to 2014. It's the brand new, new sexual marketplace strat. Um, and has the most alpha right now. The ad inventory slots are the cheapest right now. Because to advertise to the, the younger women, especially 18 to 24, businesses do not really buy those ad inventory slots because those women have no money. 
reach the highest SMV women right now until other men in your city start doing this strat and start buying up, you know, bidding up the ad inventory um, costs to reach the 18 to 24 year old women. So it's as cheap and as most effective as it will ever be today. And it gets a little bit harder, a little bit less effective tomorrow. Um, let's see. Let's see. I So I do only work with work 101 with two new people per month who enrolls with me. Yeah, so I do only work one-on-one -on -one with two new people per month and price goes up approximately 100 bucks for each new person who enrolls to work with me. So, so you know it's Hannon. Um, all right, I'm trying to scroll on this. So I do have a guarantee. We'll work together on this ad stuff until we've made you visible to 100,000 women, aka 100,000 new women in your location will come to know you exist. And location means city plus 50 mile radius. So that's my guarantee, you know, as long as that takes uh, with, you know, an asterisk. This guarantee is valid as long as you average spending 300 bucks a month on ads. And after 90 days, I will ask to see your ad spend every month to continue on getting more months from me. So let's get 100,000 new women to know you exist so you can get a good reference point. You'll, you'll either be getting women or you'll get a reference point that, hey, no women yet. SMV is probably not high enough to be competing in the um, sexual marketplace at the current moment. That's fine. Go get your SMV up three to six months, come back, do the strat, um, and you, you'll have the knowledge, like you'll know how to do it because that's what I would have taught you, taught you during this time. So giving you these skills that you can have for life. Um, and you can get millions of women to know you exist in your current city for the rest of your life, you know, wherever you go, you'll, you'll always have a strat to reach the women. Um, Facebook, IG, and TikTok, the metric we'll be looking at is 100,000 um, unique. You know, it's called Facebook and IG is called account center accounts, unique users. On TikTok, it's called unique reach. So I'll just say unique here. On YouTube, so on Google ads, they don't, um, when you look at how many women, they just do it at the campaign level. They don't dedupe it at a total account level. But I've done some math and, uh, you know, 100,000 new women will be approximately 170,000 impressions, approximately. So this, um, so this is, you know, this is where we'll get you to. And then once you're there, you'll either be getting women or you'll know, hey, your SMV is not high enough. Maybe you can go to 150K unique women um, if you want to spend some more money um, to reach them. But all you need is 100, you know, all you really need is 100,000 to definitely know, hey, is this thing going to, is my SMV high enough right now? to have the success I want with women, or is it not high enough? And also, when I did this in Lima, the two women that I got, so I got 38,000 women for 300 inbound messages, and I don't enjoy talking to women. That's why I switched to the type form. So that's 299 com out of 300 conversations were a waste of time, and one out of 300 was with a high-interest woman. Those women, we all met up, uh, I'd meet up and bang them minimum of three times. Probably would have been longer if I stayed longer, but this will get you the highest interest women with multiple bangs. You know, if you had some bangs from dating apps, you know, like 90% of the time it's one and done. Um, but this will get you the highest interest women in you where it's uh, nearly guaranteed. I can't say it's fully guaranteed because I do only have those like two data points to go off of, but um, nearly guaranteed it's like, you know, repeat bangs because, dude, they literally filled out a form to propose a date with you. So it's basically guaranteed multiple bangs. Like, who knows? Two, you know, I did at least three with both of them, so definitely could expect three. You know, but I could keep going five, ten, twenty. Who knows? As long, you know, as long as it goes, that's how long it'll go. So if you have $1,800 to invest in yourself, not reached 100,000 new women yet, 
and get the skills that you can use for the rest of your life to get as many women as you want anywhere you are that no one can ever take away from you and you have ten dollars a day to run vlog ads then check out the link in the description below um yeah 300 month dollars per month minimum spend tracking yeah put something in here so don't break my brain it starts when your first ad starts spending so I'll give you, you know, give you time to set everything up. And this is just for me, if you need extra help to reach 100,000 new women before the end of the 90 days is up. So when you join, you get read-only access to my YouTube ads account, which is the Google Ads platform. You can see all my ads slash creative slash all my data. You get the full non-public video course on how to set everything up, how to interpret data, how to optimize and tink ahead. I literally like record my screen and like talk out what I'm thinking. Um, going through the ads manager. Uh, how to get your vlog content, how to edit your vlog content, how to think about everything we're doing here. You also get to my biz WhatsApp number, unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, text, voice note, call, video call. And you'll get same day response to all your queries. Sometimes it might come on like, you know, late at night, weird hours, but yeah, I'll definitely get um, same day response to you. Let's see, we got any more here? I'm trying to go down, but uh, we'll see if this thing loads. Um, all right, so my goals here, have you go from invisible man to visible man with 100,000 new women in your current sexual marketplace in approximately 90 days. Um, give you the skills so you can repeat the above for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's the other thing. I want to give you these skills. Um, the third, my third goal is you have a six star experience with me. And my fourth goal is keep all your money you paid me by the end of the program. So yeah, we really want you to go from invisible to visible because you know, um, that's the biggest problem is not enough women are knowing you exist. And then if we get enough women to know you exist, okay, then we know your SMB is the problem. And, but this is the only strategy where you can get enough volume to do that because these other strats, you can't get enough volume with cold approach to know, okay, have enough women see me or is my SMB suck? I don't know. Social circle game, same thing. Dating apps, they don't even tell you how many women have seen you. So you're never gonna know, have not enough women seen me for my current SMB to you know get what I want from women or is it my SMV is too low you know I don't know matchmakers now DMing random on women on IG slash TikTok no so none of those strats solve those two variables only this YouTube date printing funnel solves those two variables together because it's the only one where you can get 100,000 new women to know you exist which will then tell you are you getting women by then or not if not SMV is probably um, too low to be competing in the sexual marketplace right now Cool, stop spending money on ads, go reinvest, you know, who knows, fix your teeth, whiten your teeth, uh, minoxidil on the beard, hair transplant, invest in your business, get your SMB up, come back, you know, six months, three to six months, back to the sexual marketplace, and you'll have the skills to do this over and over again, any city for the rest of your life. Um, and this is approximately Tinder 2012 to 2014, new sexual marketplace strats only come around like once every approximately 12 years. So do not get left behind. I just got two bonuses for those of y'all who come in. The exact dark women info and steps I used to avoid losing over $250,000 in my own California divorce. I kept 99.9% .9 of my assets. So yeah, I got my wife to sign a divorce settlement agreement where I kept all my stuff. She got basically nothing. She only got a one-time payment of me for 650 bucks, so less than a thousand dollars, and I kept my over a quarter million stuff. Um, you also get access to this current document even as I continue to update it. Now, click the link in the description below to go to a YouTube playlist with more videos for you to watch, plus get some more info, and then in the description of those videos will be links to book a call. So, you, you know, you can go get some more info, book a call, or go 
watch the video just to find the link to book a call as you wish. And again, I only work, and again, I only work one-on-one -on -one with two new peeps per month, and price goes up approximately $100 for each new person who enrolls. So you know the price right now, if someone enrolls before you, it's gonna be approximately $100 more. Um, so if you wanna get in, you know, most likely your cheapest opportunity, well, it's getting in before someone else, you know, before someone cuts it ahead of you. So, all right, that's everything. Click the link below to um, get some more info on this, see if it's right for you. And then um, I'll see you in the call, see you in the program. So we can get you to go from invisible man to a visible man with 100,000 new women in your current location, current sexual marketplace in approximately 90 days without all these other outdated, old, crusty strategies. All right, that's everything. Adios.